If you guys will put up the 101, please. Um, you can download this from um, uh, Keith Moore's website. And I'll tell you what he did. God's will to heal. And he has, Keith has a, a, a big book that has this in it. And that's the title, God's will to heal. And he went through the scriptures and he put these in the first person. How do we know whether it's God's will to heal us or not? It makes little difference what others say about it. What did he say about it? Remember that God is no respecter of persons, Acts 10, 34. He never changes, Malachi 3, 6. So what he said to them yesterday, he's saying to you today, God's word is God speaking to me. Say that. God's word is God speaking to me. These statements are taken directly from the Bible with little or no variation. The verbs and construction have been changed to apply to you personally. To sum up the thoughts in some instances, also many of these statements are prefaced with phrases like, if you walk in my commandments, if you believe and obey and so forth. What did God say? 101 things God said. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 15, 26. Your days shall be 120 years. Genesis 6, 3. You shall be buried in a good old age. Genesis 15, 15. You shall come to your grave in full age like a shock of corn cometh in his season. Job 5, 26. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. Exodus 12, 13. I will take sickness away from the midst of you and the number of your days I will fulfill. Exodus 23, 25, and 26. I will not put any of the diseases you're afraid of on you, but I'll take all sickness away from you. Deuteronomy 7, 15. It will be well with you, and your days shall be multiplied and prolonged as the days of heaven upon the earth. Deuteronomy 11, 9, and 21. I turn the curse into a blessing unto you because I love you. Deuteronomy 23, 5, Nehemiah 13, 2. In fact, you need to be reading these out loud along with me. Amen. And, and remember this, I believe I receive it. I believe I receive my healing. I believe it. And um, Gloria and I go through these at least twice a day. And we just read down through here, praise God, just like Pastor Dwayne was saying. I have redeemed you from every sickness and every plague, Deuteronomy 28, 61, Galatians 3, 13. As your days, so shall your strength be, Deuteronomy 33, 25. I have found a ransom for you. Your flesh shall be fresher than a child's and you shall return to the days of your youth. Job 33, 24, 25. I have found a ransom for you. You know what his name is? Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I have healed you and brought up your soul from the grave. I have kept you alive from going down into the pit. Psalm 30, one and two. I will give you strength and bless you with peace. Psalm 29, 11. I will preserve you and keep you alive. Psalm 41, two. I will strengthen you upon the bed of languishing. I will turn all your bed in your sickness. Psalm 4, 41, 3. 
I am the health of your countenance and your God. Psalm 43, 5. No plague shall come nigh your dwelling. Psalm 91, 10. I will satisfy you with long life. Psalm 91, 16. I heal all your diseases. Psalm 103, 3. I sent my word and healed you and delivered you from your destructions. Psalm 107, 20. You shall not die, but live and declare my works. Psalm 118, 17. I heal your broken heart and bind up your wounds. Psalm 147, 3. The years of your life shall be many. Proverbs 4.10. Trusting me brings health to your navel and marrow to your bones. Proverbs 3.8. My words are life to you and health and medicine to all your flesh. Proverbs 4.22. My good report makes your bones fat. Proverbs 15, 30. My pleasant words are sweet to your soul and health to your bones. Proverbs 16, 24. My joy is your strength. A merry heart does good like a medicine. Nehemiah 8, 10, Proverbs 17, 22. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'm strong. The eyes of the blind shall be open. The eyes of them that see shall not be dim. Isaiah 32, 3 and 35, 5. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Deaf ears are opening up. I mean, they're popping, coming unstopped right now. Glory to God. All over this room and all over uh, online. Take it. Praise God. That's mine. I, that's mine right now. Glory to God. I got my hearing back. I received my healing from tinnitus. Noise ringing in my ears. Any kind of chirping or whistling in, in, in my ears. Glory to God. I received that. Number 32, the tongue of the dumb shall sing. The tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. Isaiah 35, 6 and 32, 4. If you're having any trouble with stammering of any kind, are you ready to speak plainly? I said, are you ready to speak plainly? Any, is, there, is there anyone in here that's, that's struggling with that? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare your stammering tongue loose. The lame man shall leap as a hart or a deer. Isaiah 35, 6. I will recover you and make you to live. I am ready to save you. Isaiah 38, 16 and 20. I give power to the faint. I increase strength to them that have no might. Isaiah 40, 29. I will renew your strength. I will strengthen and help you. Isaiah 40, 31 and 41, 10. But, uh, that number 36. I will renew your strength. I will strengthen and help you. Number 37, to your old age and gray hairs, I will carry you and I will deliver you. Isaiah 46, 4. I bore your sickness. I carried your pain. I was put to sickness for you, Isaiah 53, 10. With my stripes, you are healed. 
I will heal you, Isaiah 57, 19. Your light shall break forth as the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily, Isaiah 58, 8. I will restore health to you. I will heal you of your wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. Behold, I will bring it health and cure. I will cure you and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. Jeremiah 33, 6. I will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. Ezekiel 34, 16. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I shall put my spirit in you and you shall live. I will cause breath to enter into you. Every person with any kind of asthma, bronchitis, TB, any, uh, emphysema, anything of the lungs, he's putting breath in you right now. He's giving you a new set of lungs. He's giving, hey, hey! Yeah. new parts, yeah. new parts. I'll cause breath to enter into you and you will live. Glory, <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Number 48. Whithersoever the rivers shall come shall live, they shall be healed, and everything shall live where the river comes. Ezekiel 47, 9. Seek me, and you shall live. Amos 4, 5, and, uh, Amos 5, 4, and 6. I have risen with healing in my wings. Malachi 4, 2. Now the New Testament. I will be thou clean. Matthew 8, 3. I took your infirmities. Matthew 8, 17. I bore your sicknesses. Matthew 8, 17. If you are sick, you need a physician. I am the Lord, your physician, Matthew 9, 12, and Exodus 15, 26. I am moved with compassion toward the sick, and I heal them, Matthew 14, 14. I heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, Matthew 4, 23. According to your faith, be it done unto you. Matthew 9, 29. I give you power and authority over all unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew 10, 1 and Luke 9, 1. I heal them all, Matthew 12, 15, and Hebrews 13, 8. As many as touch me are made perfectly whole, Matthew 14, 36. Healing is the children's bread, Matthew 15, 26. I do all things well. I make the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Mark 7, 37. If you can believe all things are possible to him that believeth, Mark 9, 23, Mark 11, 33, and 24. When hands are laid on you, you shall recover. My anointing heals the brokenhearted, delivers the captives, recovers sight to the blind, and set at liberty those that are bruised. Luke 4, 18, Isaiah 10, 27, and 61, 1. I heal all those who have need of healing. Luke 9, 11. I'm not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Luke 9, 56. Behold, I give you authority 
over all the enemy's power, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. Sickness is satanic bondage, and you ought to be loose today. Say it again. I take it today. <laughs> Glory to God. In me is life, John 1, 4. I am the bread of life. I give you life, John 6, 33 and 35. The words that I speak unto you are spirit and life, John 6, 63. I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly, John 10, 10. I am the resurrection and the life, John 11, 25. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it, John 14, 14. Faith in my name makes you strong and gives you perfect soundness, Acts 3, 16. I stretch forth my hand to heal, Acts 4, 30. I, Jesus Christ, make you whole, Acts 9, 34. Number 79, I do good and heal all that are oppressed of the devil, Acts 10, 38. My power causes diseases to depart from you, Acts 19, 12. The law of the spirit of life in me has made you free from the law of sin and death, Romans 8, 2. The same spirit that raised me from the dead now lives in you, and that spirit will quicken your mortal body, Romans 8, 11. Your body is a member of me, 1 Corinthians 6, 15. Your body is the temple of my spirit, and you're to glorify me in your body, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. If you will rightly discern my body, which was broken for you, and judge yourself, you will not be judged, you will not be weak, sickly, or die prematurely, 1 Corinthians 11, 29 through 31. I have set gifts of healing in my body, 1 Corinthians 12, 9. My life may be made manifest in your mortal flesh, 2 Corinthians 4, 10 and 11. I have delivered you from death. I do deliver you. And if you will trust me, I will yet deliver you, 2 Corinthians 1, 10. What number are we on now? <laughs> Number 89, thank you. I have given you my name and have put all things under your feet, including addictions. I've put all things under your feet. Ephesians 1, 21, 22. I want it to be well with you and I want you to live long on the earth. Ephesians 6, 3. I have delivered you from the authority of darkness. Colossians 1, 13. I will deliver you from every evil work, 2 Timothy 4, 18. I tasted death for you. I destroyed the devil who had the power of death. I've delivered you from the fear of death and bondage, Hebrews 2, 9, 14, and 15. I wash your body with pure water, Hebrews 10, 22, and Ephesians 5, 26. Number 95, lift up the weak hands and the feeble knees. Don't let that which is lame be turned aside, but rather let me heal it. Number 96, let the elders anoint you and pray for you in my name and I'll raise you up. James 5, 14 and 15. Pray for one another and I'll heal you. James 5, 16. 
by my stripes you were healed, 1 Peter 2, 24. My divine power has given unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of me, 2 Peter 1, 3. Whosoever will, let him come and take of the water of life freely. Revelation 22, 17. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be in health. Third John 2. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, don't come, don't come up to me and say, well, I just wonder if it's God's will to heal me. Yes! Decidedly, yes! I said, yes! Stand on your feet in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the curse of sickness and disease. I take authority over every pain. I take authority over every every demon spirit in this room. Hallelujah. By the power and authority of the name of Jesus, I loose you from every person in here. I curse you, cancer. I curse you, tuberculosis. I curse you, kidney stones. I curse the spirit of deafness. Hallelujah.